So here is a video on how to use FT8 on ZBitX. So I'm assuming that you've already synced your clock and set up your call sign and grid. The call sign and grid are here and if you are already on the internet, your Wi-Fi is connected even once, the real-time clock would have picked up the correct UTC and gone with that. Now the screen is a resistive touch screen which is why you need to use a pencil or a stylus. At a pinch you can even do it with your hands and I'm going to show you how to do it even with your fingers. The problem with the resistive screens are that they are not very accurate in where you actually you know, hit it so it's not possible to select individual decodes here. But for instance, but I can you know, click here and move the selection up and down to choose a particular contact. So for example, VJ6X is pretty strong and if I just click on that, I have started to call this You can set the, in the settings, you can go and set the side tone to be even uh, less audible, but nevertheless. And here you can see that it's putting out four watts and the SWR was also coming in there. And you know the battery right now voltage, which is 8.1 volts. So as you can see, I've been calling this call sign repeatedly and each time I pick up this call sign to call the logging window here is already filled with this you know this the signal report being sent is minus 12 and as soon as I receive it I'll get that here and the call will get logged It looks like he's not interested in us or is unable to hear us. So I'm just going to escape, escape this. And when I press escape, you'll see that the logging window is all cleared out. And instead of this, I can start calling CQ. So as you can see that. putting out 4 watts on 21.074 and let's see uh, if anybody is able to hear us in at the PSK reporter. So let me switch on the PSK reporter here. And go find my call sign. Okay. I don't see anybody who's heard us yet. It usually takes about five minutes for these things to come back. So in the meantime, we have still calling CQ. <clears throat> So 
So by now, I think two people have picked us up. Uh, VK6 DW in Australia and UN2NC, which is somewhere in Russia. So those two are already on. Let's see how far they are. So there's one around here in Australia. It's pretty good. And the other one is somewhere right here. Which is in Kazakhstan, not really Russia. But in the meantime, no one has called us yet. And we're still calling. Oh, wow. So UN2NC has already replied to our call. And the call is going on. And I think by now we would have also logged this call. Sorry, I got distracted, but it completed the call in spite of us. Uh, let's look at this and see if it has come through. I think it's just waiting for confirmation of that. And once that happens, then the log will come through. There we are. So we've completed the QSO. And there it is. We have already logged this in automatically. So that is essentially how we can make FT8 contacts using the ZBTX. It's pretty small and complete. And we basically went to Kazakhstan from India, which is probably a distance of about 3,000 kilometers. It's pretty smart for such a small radio.